this is going to be a quick review and first impressions of a new BB cream to the body shop. It is the Tea Tree BB cream. Um, and I was actually browsing through the body shop the other day looking for a new night cream. I picked up a bunch of things and I was just kind of browsing around looking at the new products. And when I went to check out, the lady said, I noticed you were um, testing out the new Tea Tree BB cream. Are you interested in a sample? And I didn't even know they did samples at the body shop, but I was like, heck yes, I want a sample. So she got me a sample, came in a little jar like this. I've already applied it on my face and I'll show you myself doing that in a second. But I believe there are three colors and she gave me the shade two. So I think this is like a medium tone color. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a bit of info on the product from their website here before I tell you um, my personal opinions, but it retails for $15 for the full size. Uh, there are indeed three colors, light, medium, and dark, so not a huge shade range, but it says perfect your complexion and fight the look of blemishes with our Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream. This dual action cream gives you flawless coverage while tackling the appearance of blemishes. Formulated with purifying community fair trade organic tea tree oil from Kenya. So basically it's supposed to do all the great things that BB creams already do and then it has that added bonus of the tea tree oil in it to help combat acne and blemishes and things like that, which I thought was quite unique to a BB cream. All right, now here's onto myself applying it. All right, so here's the sample right here. I'm hoping there's enough inside, but that's what the color looks right there, what it looks like. And I've zoomed right in so you could see close up to my face. So you can see my face is quite pale compared to the rest of my body, which you'll see later. But I'm gonna use my fingers to apply this because with pretty much all BB creams I use my fingers, I just find it the easiest. So I have some on my finger here, rubbing it between my hands. It's got a very tea tree scent. Oh my goodness, that's the first thing that's kind of overwhelming. It's very scented, like tea tree. That's probably because it has the tea tree oil in it. Wow. I was not expecting it to be that powerful. I should mention all I have on right now is um, a serum and a moisturizer. So that's all I have on at the moment. I should definitely have enough of this. Although I'm noticing that... Um, it's very sheer to light coverage, I would say. I don't know, I'll try and build it up, but it doesn't look like it's a super pigmented BB cream, as far as BB creams go. I'm doing weird stuff on my face. I don't know if you can see that, but as I'm rubbing it, it's like patchy, really patchy. It's like it's Oh, gross. It's like it's taking off, I don't know, a layer of my skin or the moisturizer. Whoa! Check that out. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I have to call this a giant fail. I mean, I didn't just put on my moisturizer. I've had my moisturizer on for like an hour now. Um, and this BB cream is essentially just pulling everything off into like little bits like that. I feel like I, my skin's coming off. I know it's just the moisturizer and maybe like dead skin, but I just exfoliated before I put my moisturizer on. So I'm guessing this is the BB cream moisturizer together. That's disgusting. Um, what I might try and do is I'm going to take this all off so that my face is clean with no moisturizer and I'm gonna try again and see if that makes a difference because this is not working. All right, I have just taken it all off and let my face dry. I don't know if I have enough left to do my face, but I'm gonna try it on with no moisturizer underneath and see if that makes a difference. The reason I'm doing that is because I've had one, I don't think it's a BB cream, but a tinted moisturizer maybe that um, did this to me before where if I was wearing moisturizer underneath it would go all pilly like that and all gross um, but if I just had completely bare skin it would be totally fine so let's see how this works looks like I have enough to do my face so that's a win it does not appear to be doing that weird <laughs> pilly thing so that's good but I mean, I don't know if there's SPF in this. 
I'll look it up and let you know, but that kind of stinks that you can't wear moisturizer under it. I guess because a BB cream is essentially a moisturizer on its own, but I still like to put moisturizer under BB cream. That's like one thin layer. Back up a bit so you can see. It's quite shiny at the moment. I'm curious if this is going to dry down more flat. The color actually isn't that bad. It does have quite a bit of a tint to it, which is good. It's just not very full coverage. Like I can still see redness and imperfections under my skin. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use what's left to put a little bit more on my face. I should also men mention that this is very thin in consistency. This is not thick by any means. Very thin and very scented baby cream. Alright, and here it is finished. This is two layers of the BB cream. Coming close so you can see it. It's actually blended in quite well um, with like my neck shade and my chest shade, which I'm quite impressed with. It's uh, definitely the right color match for me. As it's drying, it um, doesn't really feel sticky anymore. It felt a little bit when you put it on, but it still feels a bit dewy, but it doesn't feel heavy on this skin, which I like. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and then let you know my final thoughts. Alright, so as you can see, I had a bit of an adventure trying it out for the first time. The first time I put it on my face, like I said, I had a serum on my face and a moisturizer on top like I do almost every single day. And something about that um, combination reacted with the BB cream and caused it to streak and then peel off in like little chunks of BB cream slash lotion. I don't really think it was my skin because I had just exfoliated. Um, I think it was just product that was peeling off and it was quite gross. But I've experienced that before with one other product so I thought why not start again, wipe my face clean and try it again and sure enough it worked fine. I'm wearing it. This is me with the finished look with makeup on top um, and I actually think it looks quite nice. It's definitely like a light, I don't even know if you'd call it a medium coverage, but definitely a light coverage BB cream with lots of color in it because I am tan right now and the medium is matching quite well which I was impressed with for such a light coverage product. I also want to mention it dried down quite nice. I'm not super shiny anymore. I mean I got a little bit of shine in my chin but um, nothing compared to like when I first put it on so that was nice. I'm definitely curious to see how it holds out throughout the day and how long wearing it is so um, I'm gonna leave a little note down in the description bar of how it lasted throughout the day in case you were interested in picking up this product. I don't think personally I will be buying the full size myself. I mean, I think it looks nice and it does a good job, but I have lots of other BB creams that I love. What I would recommend this for is somebody who does struggle with acne or blemishes just on a continual basis and you want some kind of treatment within the BB cream or foundation that you're wearing, I think it's a great idea. When I started applying it immediately, it was a very strong scent of tea tree oil, so I have a good feeling there's a lot of it in it and tea tree oil does great things for blemishes and for the skin. So I think it's something definitely to check out if you, if you deal with those issues in your skin. But that was it. If you have any questions about this product, feel free to leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching. Bye!